what is going on beautiful people welcome back it's your boy blue and today i'm super excited because we are going to build a house yes we are going to build a house in construction simulator i've been looking forward to this for a long time looking forward to this game and I, I, I it does not disappoint at all i mean i cannot recommend it anymore sadly i do have some bad news and that is we are going to be building a house in single player yeah i don't have any friends yet who play this game i'm also playing an early access version so big thanks and shout out to astragon for uh, allowing me to see this early uh but yeah until it releases i don't see myself being able to really play multiplayer but multiplayer is an amazing huge feature in this game we could all co-op and build something together and this is where we're gonna build it so you can see i've already surveyed the area got everything lined up you see we have a delivery area over here on the left this is where we're gonna build the perimeter for our house and Got some chairs and some lawn chairs, equipment, whatnot, hanging around. Uh, there should be room to fit a crane in here as well if we need to. And it's a decent amount of room to work with. We got some grass back there, some uh, park some equipment. We are right next to like a main road here in the residential area. I can show you guys where we are on the map. So yeah, we're here in the residential area. I'm not sure how to get rid of this marker like that. Okay, cool. So pretty decent sized map. Um, when you first start the game out, you start off up here in the uh, village area uh, and then you can unlock the rest of the maps we have lots of different areas you got a, a industrial zone a business district so lots of things you can make even a chinatown coast and there is a harbor as well that you can uh, do some building on so i'm not exactly sure how the progress works but uh, oh there's a trailer park too uh, lots of places you can pick up gravel pick up um equipment buy trucks buy vehicles buy you know all everything you need is, is done uh, also a building yard, a junkyard as well, and a prefabricated wall factory. So anyways, let's see what we need. So we're gonna go to a single family house. That's our, our contract. Our set is complexity level seven. We're gonna get an estimated earnings of $235,000 for this job. And let me take a look at the details. So first, we get to do topsoil removal. So we're gonna need a dozer. I don't own one yet. Uh, they're kind of expensive. So we'll go through here and probably get the cat or the case dozer. Uh, we just have to rent one so we know what we need now let's go in to the map here again to the vehicle dealer which is actually right down the street that's not too bad and i'm gonna cycle the filter here by uh there we go by machine class and we'll go find us a dozer all right here's the dozers and they're going for about 4900 credits um per day all right before we get to the fun part get to the building we gotta we gotta prepare, and one of the things we need to do is uh, pick up our dozer we just rented. So I have this Mack truck that I've used, freight truck. And I'm gonna back into our trailer here. Now, I actually, I do own these. These are one of my first purchases, was the trailer and semi-combo. Oops. Um, Cause I, I knew it'd be super helpful. We can, we can, uh, I can carry, you know, products i can also carry uh vehicles and all kinds of things like that so what i'm gonna do now is set a map point we gotta pick this up at the vehicle dealer um so it's right here so i'm gonna set a marker and we can drive there american truck style there's also an interior view if you are into that kind of thing it's actually not too bad not too bad at all i don't think it supports track ir so i just gotta Ooh, hopefully we can get through here. Oh, we're gonna hit that pole. Yep. <laughs> Come on. All right, there we go. There's a lot of traffic. I, I probably should turn the traffic down. But we're not gonna follow traffic. We're gonna go around. We're gonna expedite this. Oops. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I think that does damage your truck and you do have to get them repaired and refueled. So be careful how you drive around town. Uh, there's also traffic um, fines. So if you crash into someone or run a red light, I'm not sure if, they, if running a stop sign is illegal in this world. Um, but yeah, it'll cost you money. So and for those reasons, I have cut it off as we roll through this stoplight. Uh, Cause you know I'm not really playing this as a truck simulator. 
you, you know, I do like tr truck simulators, but um, you know, when I'm out here driving around, I'm out here for a purpose. I'm trying to to move stuff and and do things fast. So as you can see, <laughs> not really a law-abiding citizen. Um, and so there is the option to turn off traffic um, fines. So yeah. All right, we have arrived, and I'm not sure this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So let's hop inside the dozer and see if I can get it onto the back of this truck. Now this is the reason why I bought this truck, so that I can transport the different vehicles. I don't own this one again, I gotta save a bit more money um, to really get my hands on a whole lot of equipment, but I do own a few things. Oh, look at that! Sweet! All right, beautiful, we can hop out. All right, let's hop into our truck and see if we can secure that. So we'll go here and secure. Oh, sweet. So that ties it down. Are there actual tie downs on there? Yeah, I think there's tie downs. Even has a little stand. That's actually pretty sweet. Didn't even know that truck could do that. So we'll bring the ramp back up and it will drive this over to our construction site. Sweet. Yeah, you know, I actually kind of like this. Now, if you're not into driving, transporting vehicles and cargo, um, then you don't have to do this. You can actually fast travel everywhere. As long as you've been there before, you can fast travel there, which is something I do love. And it saves a ton of time because you'll find yourself running back and forth for 50% <laughs> of the game just because of that. And here we are. Turn the corner and our sights should be on the right. E nope not there oh there it is right there cool all right so i'm just gonna park it right here and i'll drop the back down and we will unsecure or release the load hop out again i would really highly recommend when you first get started with this game uh one of the first kind of like missions uh or objectives is for you to own uh, I think it's a third vehicle. I think you start off with two. Oh. <laughs> uh, and so I think the best third vehicle is actually going to be a something to to haul cargo with. So all right, so we're here. And uh, now, what do I do? So it says remove top sole at the top left of our screen. I don't know exactly how to do that. I've never done this before. Uh, let's see, what options do we have in this? So we have not a lot of options. See, can I move up and down? All right, cool. So I can move the uh, the front thing up and down like that. All right, so it's going to kind of run over it and uh, and see what we can do because I've not really used a dozer before. There's so much equipment in, uh, in this in this sim that um, you'll find yourself using things for the first time pretty often. So at least it gives us a guide to know, all right, this is the area that you need to work with. So I'm just going to kind of pull right over here. I think they want to kind of like dig up the top soil, I'm assuming. And then I'm actually going to turn. And the tutorial will teach you how to do all these things. But I'm going to... Let's see. There we go. I'm going to turn it to the right. So it pushes it to the right. And we'll lower it. And then we'll just start driving and see if that's what they want us to do. And yes. Yeah. yeah so it's remove top soil. Now we're 10%. So that is what they want us to do. Now, this might not look as neat as the lines are, and that's okay, because the helper will go back through and, and fix it. Um, we just have to do basically a rough job of it. <laughs> so, I'm going to back up, uh, raise that up again, like that. And then I'll back up and do the next line. I think going in this direction is probably going to be the most efficient. But I do like the ground textures of that. One thing I'm noticing is as you drive forward, you're actually digging even deeper. All right, I think that should be good, right? Around. Okay, too far. All right, there should be fine. All right, let's dig in. And I think I can rotate it too, can't I? All right. I'm not sure if I can rotate it. That works. That's good enough. Yeah, we're like digging in. <laughs> we digging in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think we missed a spot. Yeah, I missed a little bit. It's a 30% now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, 
go here. Yeah, it's pretty simple, this part. We're basically going to dig a nice, uh, remove the topsoil, and then I'm assuming after this, we'll go back and uh, lay down some concrete for the, form uh, the foundation. This should be the last of it. Yep, 100%. There it is. Just gonna finish this off. All right, now they want us to clear the marked area. I'll raise the front of the dozer. Go ahead and back out of here. And uh, actually, what's gonna happen is they're gonna clean all this up for us because they're pretty sloppy. And there we go. Nice. Look at that. It's like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like perfect. Okay, we are here at the building dealer or delivery dealer, whatever they call it. I'm gonna run over here and if we just filter, we can find all the supplies we're gonna need for this entire job. So we need four of those, two of those, and 16 of those. This is where, you know, this does come out of your pocket. So you gotta make sure you have enough money to actually start some of these jobs, especially the big ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all this and 16 of those jesus christ i don't know if we can carry all that oh i just bought 17. remove one okay there we go and now it's to check out and i want this to auto load you can actually bring your own uh trailer with an arm and load it yourself manually if you choose to do that uh, today we'll do the auto load you can also get it delivered to your warehouse or deliver it to the construction site but it's going to cost you a delivery cost so we need to save as much money as possible so purchase that and no suitable transport vehicle is available to there <laughs> there's not no space in the loading area. Okay, so I am going to have to take some things off of my checkout. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm actually gonna remove all of this. And can we fit just that? Let's try to buy all that. There we go, beautiful. All right, cool, so we do have some. We'll have to come back and get the rest. Now this is again, all the things you see me doing today is completely compatible to do with multiplayer. So if you have a lobby of like, you know, four people, which I think it's a max, you know, all of you can go out and, and buy and pick up whatever supplies are needed for the job. And you can do this much quicker in multiplayer. You'll see multiple instances today uh, and where having another person, just a one, just having one more person will make such a huge difference. So looking forward to playing multiplayer and I think it's gonna be so much fun. So let's head back to the uh, site and we'll drop these off and pick up the rest. There, shut it down and hop in our crane. I'm not sure if we need that dozer anymore for the job. I'm gonna take a look and check, but I think we are good to go. So I'm gonna go and change the mode over to there, operational mode. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and bring the arm out. And this arm is, at, you know, honestly, at first, it's kind of a bit of a learning curve, um, getting this figured out, how it actually works and turns. I'm using an Xbox controller, uh, but it's gonna be much different if you're using, if you're like on PC and you're running with the keyboard and mouse. I have not tried using the crane with the keyboard and mouse yet. So I think what they want are these two in the back. I think the ones in the front are actually for later or at least we need to go back and pick up the other materials. And that's what they want. So we'll pick that up. And place it right there. Yeah, once you get the hang of these cranes, it's actually super cool. All right, we'll drop that right there. Like, you don't have to be super accurate, which is great. I mean, this game has done a, lot, a really good job of, you know, making things challenging, but also uh, making it easy enough that you don't have to be super super amazing at, at using these so uh, I don't think they want this one yet but what I'll do is I'm just gonna place it here next to the truck so that we can take the truck back and pick up the rest of the supplies there we go all right just got back from the uh, shop again picking up some more cargo for the job you see there's a lot of uh, deliveries that need to be made for this job now I'm just gonna park this uh, somewhere on the side. I'm not gonna unload this 
old truck. This is something that, you know, in multiplayer would be super helpful to have somebody uh, to be able to kind of like take care of that. But again, you see this whole road is blocked off. So I'm just going to leave this sitting on the side of the road here somewhere. And I will pick it up as we need it. Now, I think we need at least one of these uh, on the site right now for supplies. And the rest we'll use later. But right now, just kind of picking them up in bulk, have it get everything here, and then we'll uh, apply them as needed. But as you can see, there's a lot of prep work that com it comes into this game uh, before you really get started building. So back in the crane, and I'll just take it right off the top, and I believe this is what they want here. There we go, and I'll just pull that back and up, and there we go. We'll just slide that down there. And again, you don't have to get that close unless you just want to be, you know, super realistic. And there it is. And you see the sun is setting, so let's go ahead and return that dozer before we uh, get charged for another day. So I'm hit return, and it's sent back to the shop. That easy. Let's go ahead and reset that, and we will basically just get out of the truck, and we'll unpack the supplies for the next stage. So unpack. He's gonna do a little bit of dance, and there we go. So next we gotta do a pour. We gotta pour the strip foundation. So we're gonna need the concrete for that. I do own a concrete mixer, but we're gonna have to go and probably get a few other things for it so i'm gonna go get prepared for this stage all right concrete mixer from cat has arrived and it's full of concrete too i already pre-filled it a while back but you can take it to the gravel uh area and get it filled yourself we also need one more thing and uh i'm gonna show you something really cool actually if you're not familiar with this the way things you know are, are made uh you can go into the job details click on the details button so it shows you all the different phases of the job as well as you'll also get recommendations on the right of what you need to complete that task so we already own a mixer which is the concrete already in but we also need a concrete pump of some sort um, to get the concrete into the foundation now we could use just our truck that we're using already but it'd be very slow so we go in buy or rent one of these so i'm gonna try to pick up the smallest one uh possible we'll go with that one right there the man with the the yellow in the back. So I'm going to go now to the map and I'll find the closest vehicle dealer. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to filter it for the different types of trucks. And now I can kind of scroll through here and see these are all the vehicles that are available. Um, but again, we need a concrete pump. So a concrete pump. And we'll probably go with this one. It looks smaller. I mean, we're not doing a massive industrial building. Um, so I think that this should be small enough to do the job. It's going to cost us 4400 per day. So that's pretty important to kind of like try to, not to, you know, sit here idle for too long because it will cost you money. All right, so we're at the vehicle dealer. We got to run around the block, pick up our our truck. I love how this guy runs. Like, like what are you running from, bro? Like, he looks like he's running for his life. <laughs> Hands out, just full on 100, like no chill at all. So anyways, <laughs> uh, we'll run over here. I, I will have to mention that whenever you fast travel, it does cost you uh, a bit of money. Depending on how far and how heavy and large the vehicle you are in when you fast travel, it will cost you more or less. So here's our truck. And I'll show you guys how it works here in just a little bit. So I'm gonna fast travel with this. Instead of driving it back, I'm just gonna fast travel. This makes it so much faster. I can actually hit the quick button. I don't know what that is for a uh, PC, but it's the left uh, D button. And fast travel to the house, 72 credits. Yeah, that works. There we go. Spider-Man. <laughs> right, I wanna see if we can get this. It's kind of tricky sometimes to get this working the way I want to work. And just like that, turn on pouring and there it is, cool. Yeah, so it takes a little bit of trial and error, but I finally got the cement truck. <laughs> um, kind of pouring into the cement pump and from what I understand that's the way that you have to do it in the game uh, now we're gonna hop into the spider truck as I call it and just like the crane I'm gonna raise it up and 
and then stretch it out in some of these cranes and things there's just so many joints that it kind of gets awkward and confusing <laughs> so you know once you use it a bunch and get used to it uh it'll be easier uh but as you can see i'm still trying to figure it out uh let's see no let's go this way no that this way yeah like that i want that i think i think that's what i want and then we'll go over here and basically we will hit I think the A key no here turn on pouring and now we are pouring the cement and it's gonna start filling that foundation and we just need to start running this yeah I'm, I'm wasting it let's turn it off for a second uh, running it across the perimeter of these uh, foundations here All right, we did it. <laughs> oh man, I really struggle with this machine. I'm really trying to get it figured. So we gotta clear the area again. And by clear, to clear it, I guess we just gotta move. We can actually hit reset and that resets it. And now you can see that it is now populated with uh, a bunch more stuff. So now we have to deliver some more materials. But again, we've already brought those materials here. Uh, we just have to place them in the location they need to be at, so yeah. All right, you see the sun is coming out. It is 6 a.m. now for day two. And I can already tell this is where having a crane would be super helpful because we have, we have supplies kind of scattered all over the place. I've been in the truck over there. I have supplies over here. So one thing that's beautiful is I actually bought it a few missions ago because I've been using it for everything. Go into the crane area and we can actually select the fast erecting crane. Again, I've already uh, bought this so I actually own it so I no longer have to rent it and I think this is my first time using it since I bought it There we go. So now we have a crane and I can hop inside the crane and this is honestly one of my favorite machines to use in Construction simulator. It's super helpful in pretty much all cases um, I know we're just building a house and I don't think you would necessarily use a whole crane to make a house, but uh, In this case, we'll make it work. So let's pick that up and put it over in the area they need it. And <laughs> I love that it has the little icon on the ground to show you where you're actually hovering over as well as showing you where it actually is. So we'll lower it down and drop that right there. And the crane honestly is pretty easy to get the hang of. At first, again, it's, it's definitely a learning curve. You've never played a game like this before. Oh, it's just, just outside my range. I have to get the swing over there. If I get the swing, let's see if I get the swing over there. There we go. <laughs> Got it. And we'll swing this back over here. And again, you can be as careful as you want to be. Uh, I don't think we can break it. At least I've never broke it before. All right, we'll drop it right there. And now they want us to clear the area. Now what sucks is I was really trying to avoid uh, moving our spider truck, but I guess they, they want us to move it out the way, so. I'll go ahead and reset it and switch into driving mode. I do like the animation of these trucks. Done a great job. And I'm just going to park it over here under the tree. I know we're going to need it later. And there we go. Look at that. So now it's populated the next stage. Now we have uh, the, the timber floor cassettes. So that's what we're going to use for our floor. We're going to run back over here to our crane. And this is where it starts looking like a house here. This is where it starts getting fun. So we're going to go down here. And again, you could use any type of crane. You don't have to use this crane. There is actually another truck that's really like, it's just crane. That's all it is uh, that you could buy if you want to go that route. So there's multiple ways to build things with multiple types of machines. You don't have to feel forced to only use one type of machine. And so we just can get that lined up there and drop it right in place. And again, you don't have to be perfect. Just got to get close enough. Uh, I actually like using first person mode, uh, which is kind of this. It doesn't look like first person mode, but it is. <laughs> so basically now you're looking at the crane from right underneath it and you can actually kind of have, uh, I feel like it's easier to guide, easier to um, understand what you're picking up, where you're picking it up. And again, you have that icon on the ground showing you exactly where it is, giving you a little bit of better situational awareness. 
and I will rotate this uh, rotate by clicking in the left analog stick there we go and then pressing circle I believe circle and square and again you don't have to use the inside view you can switch back to exterior and there's multiple exterior views close up far away whichever works best for you again I personally prefer to use the uh, interior view as so I can understand where I'm going a bit better we'll grab this one on top over here drop it down there we go pick it up down there we go I, I really do like the animations and the kind of the physics it's not perfect physics but I do like the way they've done it and we'll place this one right here and rotate it. You don't have to rotate it if you don't want to. It'll still, as long as you get close enough, uh, you're able to place it in. There we go. And we'll go grab another one of those. So again, I'm gonna switch back to first person. Just easier for me to do this a bit faster in first person. All right, there we go. The bottom floor or the floor is now complete. In reality, you wouldn't use a crane to do this. You'd probably, you know, build it differently. But all right, next, we got to deliver and spread gravel. So we have to go pick up gravel uh, and place it into that box. We're going to keep the crane here and leave it up for now. All right, we're back at the job site. And I have to admit, this is pretty tricky the way this works. Um, I'm gonna try my best not to make a mess. I'm assuming they're trying to use this for like a patio or something. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up here and then I'm gonna raise. Yeah, I'm gonna start raising this slowly and then slowly try to get this spread on here as best as possible. Now you can see we're already making a mess. I got some of it. And I, there's got to be an easier way to do this <laughs> than to just drive over it. Uh, like, I mean, I gotta, can I, you know, I guess I could get a uh, excavator or something like that. I could do it that way, but I'm going to try it this way first. All right, let's back in there. And it's already fallen out because physics. And, all right, stop. But it's not an unlimited supply. We are going to run out if I just keep dumping it. Oops. <laughs> no, you didn't see anything. I was back into here again. And I could use the dozer or something to also uh, to level it out. But I don't know if they care. I think they just want it here. And we'll have somebody else do that later. So I'm back into here. And we're 43%. So we're doing something right. And we'll raise it. There we go. And on the on the hood on your right, the little yellow bar is showing how much of the product you have in the back, or whatever you're carrying. Carrying. All right, we're only eighty-two percent, so I think they want it kind of full, like a good amount in there. Back in. Alright, I'm gonna raise it up again. There it is. Nice, we did it! Oh, I'm spinning the tires. <laughs> Alright, clear the area, and now they want us to put supplies there again. So we'll just leave the truck right there where it's sitting. Alright, let's swing it over there. Boom, there we go, we got it. Turn it and drop it in place. Look how sloppy that gravel job is. <laughs> Alright, drop that right there. Alright, we'll go back down here and we'll unpack it. You got a hops. Woo! <laughs> unpack construction materials. There we go. Alright, now we gotta pour another slab of foundation. So again, we still need the concrete. Alright, and activate that. 
I do really like the textures they've done in here. There we go. Yeah, as I do this more, I am getting better at it. There we go. And some more over here. Just sprinkle that everywhere. I'm really thankful that the game is not too picky on how you do this stuff. Makes my life a lot easier. There we go! And now the concrete is down and dried. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Let's clear the area. I'm going to reset that. That's a nightmare to get back together. All right. They want three of these placed at. And I assume... Oh, they want to clear the area. Okay. So, Oh, look at that. Wow. We have walls. Oh, my God. And we'll move this out the way. Again, park it back in the shade. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wait, where's it at? Look at that. Look at that. We have walls. And whatever these things are, I'm not sure what those are. We have walls. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, this is some house building right here. Alright, so let's do this. I'm going to grab this one here first. And you can see it has a lot of helpers to tell you where things go. All the highlight blue markers will tell you where they go. Now, each wall piece is not created equal. There is a particular wall piece for a particular spot, so this one will only go here. It has a doorway in it or something. Yeah, again, you don't have to be perfect. If you want to be perfect and realistic, you can do that. But you do not have to. I'll do the walls first before I do whatever that other thing is. I think that's that's a wall too. I think it's just a different shape wall. And again, like I said, all this you can do in multiplayer as well, and you can see it all. So, looking forward to giving that a try. We'll place that right there and grab some more. And again, the time goes by fast, man. This game, the speed of the of the actual. Like, sun and all that is pretty fast, I have to say, but a lot of days will go by in-game as you are working on things. You gotta be really careful of what you are renting. I'll drop that in place right there. There we go, look at that! Now we have walls! So cool, man. This house is actually coming together. I have a few more wall pieces to do over here. Go ahead and get the crane. Yeah, the crane is definitely a great investment early on in the game, especially if you're doing buildings. Um, one of the things I really like, enjoy so far is actually making houses. I've only made one um, before. It was actually different. I'm actually surprised. I kind of thought and assumed because I built the house before that it was going to be exactly the same process, but um, it's actually very different. The house is a different design. Um, the elements we're using are different. The process is actually different. So I'm actually surprised. So I'm gonna pick this up and drag us over here. There we go. Oh, sweet. Did we get paid again? I'm not sure. You have advanced in player level and receive a new skill point. The sun's about to set. So before it does, I want to take one quick glance at the house as it is right now. Look at that. Just, just wooden frames. Reminds me of when I was uh, building my house in real life. I didn't do it with my own hands. You know, had builders do that, but um, pretty cool. All right, man, we're using a lot of wood for this job. Um, but we go ahead and put the ceiling down, at least for one of the elements here. Let's see, there we go. Pick that up. And I think that looks like it's going to be the garage. Yeah. Drop that right there. There it is, the second floor. And there it is, the walls are done, I think. <laughs> and now we gotta drop a little bit more wood. 
Again, you can walk through all of this and look at it, it even has the insulation in there already. All right, let's work on the second floor. I'm actually in first person view now from the crane. Just much easier for me to kind of navigate things. I'm actually gonna reach this one way over here. Here's the last piece for the walls on the second floor. I don't know that anything's gonna go on top of the garage, but we'll think about that when it comes. And there it is. And it looks like, yes, there are more pieces. So we gotta put some more wood laid out and then they'll unpack that wood and then continue building. So this is kind of the process, of, at least with the house. Every type of building has a different process. Uh, I can't imagine what it's like to build like an apartment building or a office building or a college. Uh, there's even theme parks you can make on here as well. So it's not all just making houses. There's a lot of different types of things that you can make or create. And uh, I just was really interested in trying out a house. I will drop that right there. Sun's coming up for day three of our construction house, uh, building a house project. And this is our last pallet of wood which means we're getting pretty close uh, to completing this house. And there we go. Uh oh, I just glitched out <laughs> a little bit there. All right, so clear the area. You can see all the walls are now made for the top floor. And we should have some more things. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm clear. We're just gonna move the crane out the way. And there we go. Look at that. The house is looking good. It has a roof and everything. Huh, I'm surprised they didn't make me put the roof up. Wow, look at that. It is really, really coming together. Wow. Oh, man, I'm excited. That's so cool. Oh, man. Kind of tedious, you know. It's day three, but we're almost done, and uh, things are really coming together. Let's go take a walk through if we can. Uh, can we walk through? Where's the front door? Here we go. Yeah, we'll walk through here and see everything. Take a look at the upstairs. You see this is the attic area there over the garage. And some lights in here. Man, look at that. Wow, look at that. The texturing. I love the wood texturing and the insulation. It just looks really nice. Like it, You can tell that they used some pretty high-res textures. But I'm getting pretty decent performance in the frames on this game on a PC. Not sure how it will perform on a console. But upstairs is complete. Cool. All right. Speak with the foreman. Construction stage G. Debriefing. Okay. What does he want to talk about? Whoa. Oh, snap. We're done. What? Look at that house. There we go. We freaking made that. We freaking built that. Now, we didn't paint it. That wasn't our job. We made the, you know, the frame and whatnot. Let's take a look at it. Got a swing on the outside. Pretty nice. Little back... Uh, We'll call it an outhouse, but you know, a little shed back there. Water hose, little picnic area. Or I shouldn't say picnic area, a little family meeting area in the back. Got a grill, flowers. Man, this is a nice house. It even has a sandbox. Let's go, and a palm tree. Now that would actually be pretty cool to have to excavate a hole to plant a palm tree. So again, a lot more things you could do. Um, again, every house you make, every building you make, uh, are gonna vary so again I, I built another house earlier just to learn but it was completely different than this process As a matter of fact it was in some cases even more involved I actually had to put the roof together so pretty impressed pretty cool let's go ahead and return all of our equipment um, we got paid we got four hundred thousand dollars now to bank I could probably go and buy some more stuff so we can start uh, upgrading my company and thank you guys so much for watching i've really enjoyed this game so far matter of fact i'm really spending a lot more time in it if you want to see me stream or make more content of this please let me know in the comments i'll be listening to your feedback let me know what types of projects you'd like to see if any and a huge shout out to estragon for allowing me to get early access of this product 
If you're interested in Construction Simulator, it's available on PC, Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox platform. So definitely go get it if you enjoy it. I'm looking forward to playing multiplayer with you guys because I could definitely use the help on some bigger projects. I need it. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.